Welcome back to our fourth video in our GORM series, and we're going to try to set up our MySQL server and our Apache web server. It's going to be hard to find some documentation, but I'll lead you through where to do this. Now, if you remember when we first installed this, it said install MySQL. Now, if I type in MySQL, I get an error here, so it's not getting me into the MySQL console. So we do have to install the server and make sure that's running. So where to, where to find this stuff? One thing you can do, you can see I'm in my IDE right now. I have this index.php open. I could leave it open for now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go up to help. And this should open up in a new window. And believe it or not, help does help. And they have a manual here. And the best place to go to start, you can check out any of this, but where I found this stuff, and I found it by searching, but if you go through here and just go to FAQ and go to language and environment, and then scroll down, find the one about PHP my admin. Even though we're not going to do that quite yet, this will help us get started. And if you go here, you'll find this code here, and it has get update, it has my SQL server, it has the Apache restart that's on here, and it also has the PHP my admin. Now we're going to need all this stuff, so I'll keep this open. But one thing you could do is you could copy this stuff out of here. So if you don't want to keep going here, you could copy this. Now in the beginning you might want to do this, but if I go back here, you could even make a file in here. I could sometimes just make a file and I'll just call it like startup text or something like that. And I'll just call it .txt so it makes a text file. And I'll just put it in there. And there's my, there's my new file and I'll just paste this here. And I'll save it. That way I have this stuff and I don't always have to go back to the web page. And notice that when it's saved, it'll have an X, and when it's not saved, it'll have an asterisk. So what I'm going to do first is, I'll, I guess I'll just do this update, and I like to do these one at a time. So let me do this first, and I'll just paste this get update, and then I'm going to do this one. I'll just do it in the order they have it, and I'll install the MySQL server. And then I'll do the start. And it says done, so that's good. And I'm going to skip the PHP my admin for now. And I'm just going to do the Apache restart. And I'll do that one. And that starts your web server. So a couple things here I'll try out. Since I just did this, let me type in MySQL and see if I could do MySQL in the console. And it goes into the prompt for MySQL. Now, I'm not going to do anything right now. So I'm just going to type quit. And I'll get out of there and it'll take me back to my regular prompt. So that's working okay. So again, just to review, we did the update, we did the MySQL server, we started it, and we skipped over the PHP MyAdmin, and we just started our web server. Now, the purpose of our web server, if we open up index.php, here, well, here it is right here, and if we wanted to see it, you might think, well, where, where are we gonna see this file? And you'll get used to this, but if you go to project, running URL and port, now, right now, your URL is nafqm.runus. Now, if you go here, I'm going to go back here just to, like I said, it takes a little while to find your way around. It says, after you complete the install, now this is for PHP my admin, but uh, it says project URL. And sometimes it's confusing what the project URL is. And that's what this is. This is the project URL. And you could change this too. You don't have to use this exactly as it is. And if you open this up, there it is. Now, you don't want to have this URL because it says NFAQM. You want to have your own URL. So we're going to change that. So I'm going to close this right now. Even though it's working, actually, if you go in here, our PHP is working. But you don't want to have that URL. You want to have your name in there because it does have your, if you look, you can see it has your container. Then it has your name. But that's not your name. So you can change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this up. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to delete this. So, and if you're not sure, you could follow what it does. You could see there's the HTTPS and it has GORM PHP dash and it has NFAQM. No, you don't want that, but it still has the run US here. So you just want to replace that. So what you can do is you could delete this and it says, do you really want to delete it? And I'll hit yes. And then what I'm going to do up here is I'll just put in my username. Now I'll use the username that I use for this GORM account, which is Home Studio. So I'll just put that in for right now. I'll put in Home Studio. But I want that in there instead of just a randomly generated name. 
and then it says port and it says they recommend 80 so just put in 80 in here and then hit register and there it is there's your new URL and that's exactly the other you can't do anything about the end but you want the home of studio in there so that's what you want and then I'm gonna hit apply and then I'm gonna hit OK now let's make sure I did this right first of all and I'm gonna go back here just go back to the same place and I'm gonna open it up and there it is now it's actually just saying home of studio I guess we could have put the gorm in there actually last time I did put the gorm PHP in there but you could you could do that so there's the gorm and now it's going into that folder I guess that's fine actually I did it different last time but that's fine and then the PHP is working so that's all we have to do right now so that's okay and again if, if it's messed up if you wanted to have the gorm PHP dash home studio you could change that but actually that actually worked fine I'm just gonna hit OK for now and I don't have to do anything else so everything's in in my container right now so that's it so it's working right now so I'm gonna close this up and I can close up this index.php so again just to review what we did is we set up our you can go through all this stuff here we we installed all these things in my startup text that are here except for PHP my admin which I'll do in a separate video so here's where we got this and we're actually gonna do some other stuff with PHP my admin but we went through here we copied this we put it here in our startup text so you don't have to go back here and this is what you have to do to install the MySQL server to get it started and to patchy restart now these two are the ones number three and number five are the ones you're gonna have to do every time you open your container you should have to do them every time the other ones you won't have to install anything again but we still have to install PHP my admin so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna close that just to review to see this file we go to our project we go to our running URL and port and we just use this thing to open it up and if there's a shortcut I haven't found it yet so I'm just gonna open this up and it's in the GORM PHP folder and there it is so that files in there and we can obviously put more files in there or you could put other folders in there and that's our that's our web server running that so if our web server isn't running we're not gonna see this so I'm gonna close this up cancel out of here and I'll close this up and I'll collapse my container directory and then I'll close my container and that'll stop all this stuff down here so I'm gonna leave the container and it'll close out of there and it'll just take us back to our dashboard and what I'm gonna do next time is we're gonna install PHP my admin and I'm gonna go through that process with you and then we'll learn how to work with databases a little bit using PHP my admin <laughs>